Here's our tail of the tape. Lorenzo Simpson, 19 years old. Rafael Garcia is 30. And Simpson will have a two-inch height advantage and a three-inch reach advantage. With that, we go into the ring. And our ring announcer, but wait, first I got to tell you the rules. Sergio, slow me down. I've been too excited. <laughs> I just drank an energy drink. The rules tonight, no three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And only the referee can stop the fight. Now, without further ado, it is David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the MGM National Harbor here in Prince George's County, Oxon Hill, Maryland, USA, for a big night of boxing action. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing USA, in association with Devin Haney Promotions. We're sponsored by JD Sports. We're live on the zone and Sky Sports, and all bouts tonight are sanctioned under the auspices of the Maryland State Athletic Commission. The chairman is David J. Norman. The executive director is Patrick Panella. Introducing your three judges scoring our first contest from ringside. John Gradowski, Larry Hazard Jr., and Ron McNair. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, referee Harvey Dock. And now, ladies and gentlemen, four rounds of boxing scheduled in the super middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his trainer and father, Daniel Garcia. He wears the green and gold. He scaled 169.6 pounds. His professional record, nine wins, two defeats. He has six wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, please welcome Rafael Iloco. Garcia! Garcia! And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Calvin Ford. He wears the blue trunks. He scaled at 165 pounds. His young professional record thus far perfect. Three fights, three victories, two of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Baltimore, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Lorenzo Truck Simpson. Simpson. Okay, boxers, the trunks are good. Anything below this will be a low blow. But right now, the trunks are good. Guys, we went over the instructions earlier. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. What a moment this is for Lorenzo Simpson right, from nearby Baltimore, Maryland. You heard the ovation he got, just 19 years old, a six-time National Silver Gloves and 2017 U.S. National Junior Champion. Taking on Rafael Garcia, who's never been down as a pro, the 30-year-old nicknamed El Loco. Here we go. We are off and running from Oxon Hill, Maryland. This one's scheduled for four rounds. Simpson in the green and blue. El Loco in the green and gold. Simpson, the southpaw, wants to utilize that southpaw range. Stay at distance right now. He has a lot of amateur experience with 260 amateur fights. So expect him to use the entire ring, fight behind the jab, and establish the power. Nice body shot with the left hand there for Simpson. A lot expected out of this young man. And growing up in Baltimore, he didn't know what his life would turn into. He said he was around violence all the time, heard gunshots almost on a daily basis. And there's a big shot from Simpson with the left hand. I love what I'm seeing so far. Simpson staying at bay at distance, knows how to step back and use the, the southpaw angles. Whoa. Uppercut followed by a right hand. But I tell you what, Garcia has come to fight. Nice uppercut leading to the left hand, and now Simpson's just letting him go. Another uppercut. El Loco is about to go. A big battery back against the ropes. They have stopped it, and there it is. Truck rolls in Maryland. 
Welcome home, Lorenzo. That was an impressive stoppage right there, Todd. I mean, look, a kid with three fights, that was exciting. He threw every punch in the book. He was in there versus a very tough man. They call it Loco, but the man they call the truck just ran over Garcia. The crowd loved it. This place caught fire in a hurry, and the 19-year-old is now 4-0. Obviously not the greatest competition, Sergio, but that's exactly what you want to see from a young prospect. No, absolutely, and Garcia's never been stopped before, so that's actually a big statement by Lorenzo Simpson. There might be some who say, wait a minute, that was an early stoppage, but I think everyone can agree that Garcia had no chance of winning that fight after he continued to just take uppercut after uppercut, it seemed, from Simpson. Lorenzo Simpson did tell us that he's used to running through people. As a matter of fact, that's why they call him the truck, and he just ran over Garcia there. I don't think Garcia stood a chance, and they made the right call. Let's watch the beginning of the end, as they say, Sergio. I mean, he threw punches from everywhere. I, I say it all the time, a southpaw that knows how to throw a right hook is a very dangerous fighter right there. But it was a left uppercut followed by the right hook, and the kitchen sink came after that. But yes, very impressive on Lorenzo Simpson's part. I counted four uppercuts in that exchange. You don't see uppercuts thrown with flurries like that too often. No, not at all, because it's a dangerous punch to throw. But when you're that confident and that skilled, like Simpson is, I mean, that's just very impressive. We make it official now, and David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Harvey Duck calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 19 seconds of round number one. The winner by TKO, he's still undefeated from Baltimore, Maryland, Lorenzo Trump. Simpson.